Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So you're here with me because you're feeling anxious, right? So what me and you are going to do is we're going to do some basic calming down techniques and then we are going to do E, F, T, tapping and that's an anti-anxiety technique that is one of my personal favorites that my therapist actually taught me. So, the very first thing I'm going to need you to do is just focus on me, okay? Stay focused on me and my voice as long as you can, okay? I will be giving you some reminders because I know it's easy to let your mind wander especially when you're feeling anxious or stressed or overwhelmed but we're going to work on reducing that together if you let me 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 okay so the very first thing just go ahead and make your as comfortable as possible. Okay? So just roll your shoulders around. Loosen all your face muscles. Loosen all your face muscles. Make sure your jaw is in you're comfortable, we're going to be doing some breathing exercises. And maybe you're like me where you kind of feel like breathing exercises don't work for you. Um, I used to think that, but recently, after really being mindful with it and doing it for long periods of time, it really does help. It really helps bring your body the elevated state that you're at right now. Okay, so we're going to do some deep breathing and just trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Okay, so we're going to do the 4, 7, 8 method. 4, 7, 8. Where you inhale for 4, hold for 7, for eight. And another helpful aspect to this could be um, as you inhale, visualize inhaling good positive energy and know that I am sending you good positive loving energy for you to absorb, okay? I am really sending it to you, okay? So, you breathe it in hold. And really, when you exhale, let your body relax as you exhale. And the air coming out of you is all the tension and anxiety and worry leaving your body as you exhale, okay? So this works best if you really let yourself, you know, have a little imagination, have a little fun with it, okay? So even if you don't even energy or anything like that, pretend that you do and accept the good energy and exhale the negative energy, okay? All right, so inhale for four. And to 
exhale for eight. And it should be a very big exhale, kind of obviously because it's twice the length of your inhale, so a quick inhale. And hold it, and then exhale for eight seconds. Now, it's not a hard and fast rule, so if you want to um, just go with what feels natural to your body, of course you can do that, but just focus on a very long exhale and really holding your breath, because it's it forces the exhale to be very long and relaxing, okay? Okay. So keep doing those breaths. I will remind you and also keep focusing on me and my voice. And I'm going to get a candle right here. And once I light this candle and we set an intention, I'm going to explain what EFT and EFT tapping is and yeah, the idea behind it, and then we will get started right away, okay? I know you are feeling very anxious right now, but trust me, okay? Trust me, I am here with you, okay? You're not alone right now. Okay. And even if you can't truly believe that I'm here with you, just know that I'm here with you in the sense that I know what you're going through. I don't know exactly what it is, but I've talked about before how my anxiety would manifest in like physical unpleasant sensations in my body, like a very tight throat and feeling like I couldn't ever catch my breath and feeling like my breath was like up here and I don't know if that makes sense, but... And I know what it's like to have anxiety, like horrible anxiety for no real reason. Like, you can't even think of why you would be anxious. It's just there in your body all the time. Well, that's what mine was like. I also get anxiety from events and things like that, but... Just know that you are not alone. I'm going to light this candle, maybe listen to the tapping for a second and think about what it makes you feel, if it gives you ASMR or not. Just keep focusing on the sound, don't think about anything else, maybe think about your breathing. Think about how it sounds different when I'm tapping right here. Versus right here. Versus right here. I'm gonna go a little slower. Keep taking breaths. I feel like taking the breath is even calming me down a little. It really does work if you let it and if you're consistent with it. All right, let's open this. The scent is mint eucalyptus and basil. So 
but with this candle lit, keep focusing on me. Focusing on my voice, focusing on your breath, focusing on keeping your shoulders relaxed. You can keep rolling them back if you want, or if you're laying in bed, you could do the classic body scan where you start with your toes and moving up through your body, through your legs, and your hands, and your arms. You go muscle group by muscle group, tightening and then releasing those muscles. You could do that too, if you're good at multitasking. I am not good at multitasking, so... Okay, so, looking at this candle, focus, good. Focus, without moving your head. Focus. Focus. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so let's set an intention to finally feel better, to finally let that anxiety leave your body because you deserve it, okay? Especially if you're at sleep or relax, but even if you're not, even if you're at school or in an office or wherever you are and you're feeling anxious, you deserve to feel better, okay? And I know that might sound weird, but what I mean by that is even if you have things to do and even if you're behind schedule or you feel guilty and it's making you anxious, going to work on that. So, let's set an intention to feel better. So, let's set an intention. Intention. Alright, with this long intro being said, let's get down to EFT tapping. So EFT means Emotional Freedom Techniques. The name doesn't really have much to do with how it works, but basically EFT tapping is extremely similar to acupuncture. It targets high energy points in your body, just like acupuncture, and it stimulates the nerves there, which supposedly releases good chemicals. Now, if you are dubious, that is completely understandable, but just know, placebo effect is extremely, 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 extremely powerful. Even if you don't believe in it, it very well could work for you. There are a 
few studies showing its efficacy with dealing and reducing stress, anxiety, and trauma. It works best if you focus on one, one concept or idea at a time and then target that and then maybe you could move on to the next if you find this helps you. So I'll explain what I mean by that. The very first thing you're going to do is bring to the forefront of your mind your issue or what you believe your anxiety is stemming from. If you can't think of anything, like I mentioned, if you're just having a body anxiety, be your your thing could be I am having body anxiety for no discernible reason. So once you have that idea in your mind, I'll give you a second. And I also remind you to keep breathing and keep focused on me. This part is very, very, very important. If it helps you to know what the next step is in order to know what your problem that you're going to be focusing on is, the statement we're going to be working with is Despite having this problem or this issue, I completely and wholly accept myself or I deeply and utterly accept myself. You're allowed to alter the statement as you see fit with the main central theme being self-acceptance and self-forgiveness and self-love. Here's an example. Despite feeling anxious about this test I have tomorrow, I completely and totally accept myself. So that's the kind of statement we are going to create in our mind as we do EFT tapping. So does that help you kind of narrow down what kind of issue you want to focus on? Like I said, if it's something you can't identify, despite feeling anxious, despite being stressed for no reason, despite etc. So do you have it? I'm going to give you just a little more. If you want to pause, that's totally fine. If you already have your issue, Go ahead and create that sentence in your head, however you want to say it, and practice saying it a few times. Earlier today, I was really anxious about speaking Spanish on the phone, because I'm not very good at Spanish, and so an example would be, for me, earlier, despite feeling anxious, about looking dumb, I completely and I wholly accept myself. So are you ready? Do you have your sentence? Keep up those deep breaths, okay? Another way you can say it is, even though I have this issue, despite having this issue, the focus, once again, is not the semantics, it's just the idea. So, let's get started. We're going to take our hand, one hand, and we're going to decide which part we're going to tap with. You're going to be tapping in this general area, so if you have long nails, Maybe you don't want to tap like this. It might hurt. But if you have short nails, I like doing that with these fingertips. Maybe you could even use your knuckles or whichever is comfortable for you to be able to apply gentle 
yet firm pressure without hurting yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and try not to stab myself with my nails. Okay, so keep focusing on me. We're going to start the tapping. You follow a pretty specific pattern. Um, so we will do it a few times together for you to be able to memorize it, okay? Okay. Alright, so it goes as follows. You're gonna tap on the fatty part of your hand right here. I don't know what to call this, the side of your hand. Pretty firmly. Then you're going to move to your eyebrow right here, or right here. We're gonna work with one side of the face at first. So here at the corner of your eyebrow, by the corner of your eye, by your nose. Then you're going to move to the side of your eye, under your eye, between your nose and your lip, your chin, and then your collarbone. Right by your armpit, and then the top of your head. Okay? So practice the pattern once again. Hand, eyebrow, side of eye, under eye, above lip, chin, collarbone, armpit, top of head. Alright, so I'm going to do it with you, actually applying a decent amount of force this time. And each time you are doing each section, you're going to say the phrase that we created, okay? Even though I feel anxious, even though my body is feeling anxious for no reason, I utterly and totally accept myself, okay? Alright, are you ready to begin? Bring the problem to the forefront of your mind, your issue, with this sentence. Think about it. This is one of the only times I really, really want you to think about what's making you anxious, okay? And from a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being extremely, extremely anxious, maybe even a panic attack level of anxiety, and 0 being calm, content, where do you fall on this scale, okay? With five maybe being pretty strong anxiety, but maybe like average anxiety for you, whatever that means for you. Okay. So take your hand. I'm not going to say my phrase out loud to not distract you. I'm just going to say where I'm touching, okay? But every time we move to a new section, say your phrase again. We're going to do this three times. So relax again. Relax. Okay. So, start tapping your hand. The front of your eyebrow. side of your eye, under your eye, above your lip, and then your chin, your collarbone, the front of your collarbone, your armpit, and then the top 
top of your head. Take another deep breath. Okay, so quickly let's check in with ourselves. Where's our anxiety at now? Did it go down? Is it unchanged? okay if it's unchanged. Sometimes it takes several EFT cycles to notice a change. So let's try again, okay? Keep focusing on me. Are you ready? This time I'm not gonna say the area. I'm just going to go along and you can go at your own pace, okay? Sometimes a certain might feel more relaxing or like you want to do it there longer. I know I don't really like tapping above my lip that much because my area for that is kind of small. So it is in the end up to you, okay? Okay, so ready? You can follow along with me by watching me or by going at your own pace. I'll be going, I'll make it pretty extended this time, okay? Ready? Have your idea. Bring your issue to the forefront briefly. And have your sentence ready. deep breath. Where does the tapping feel the best for you? For me, it's my collarbone, the top of my head, and the side of my eyes. So I like to focus there. And I tap pretty hard on my head. So we're going to do it again, maybe this time use our other hand if you want and tap on the other side of your face, the other side of your body. See if maybe you like it more or less or whichever you like, okay? Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so once again, I'm going to go at my own pace. You can follow along if you want. Or you can close your eyes and just completely take over, okay? Okay, so try it. 
try with the other hand this time. However, anti-anxiety techniques are extremely subjective, not what works for one person doesn't always work for the other. All it takes is continuing to take steps like watching, like watching this video and trying to feel better and learn more and I'll briefly say that five years ago, six years ago, I thought my anxiety would never get better, that it was just part of my life, um, and that I had permanently messed up my brain by being anxious all the time, and I can truly say now that I am so much better after like four years of horrible, horrible anxiety, plus anxiety in my youth, um, I feel a lot better, and I have a lot of techniques now to cope and a lot of it I did learn in therapy, so... And I am genuinely so much better, so... I truly, 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 truly believe that you will feel better and that you will continue to learn how to cope and improve your anxiety, okay? So there's one final Step. Let's check in again and see where we're at on a scale of 0 to 10. Again, if there's no change, or maybe even if there's an increase, which can happen when you slow down and really look inward and try to fix what you're feeling, sometimes it can increase your anxiety. All I can say is, if that happens, continue to take deep breaths, maybe go lay down, listen to calming music, um, watch some more videos until you find something that works for you, or continue EFT tapping until you find it has improved your anxiety. Thank you so much.